I did a test on Lehigh Defense's maximum expansion with the huge bullet, and it did incredibly well, but I got a lot of questions about how would this gigantic hollow point cavity do through the heavy denim test? Would it get clogged? Would it fail? Let's find out. So last time I was at the range, I had a leftover block of gel, so I slapped some denim on it, and I sent one of these rounds into it just to see what would happen. Here's what happened. This is a Lehigh Maximum Expansion that was shot through denim. It, the ruler's there for reference. This one only made it to 8 inches, so we're not really worried about penetration so much as this is organic gelatin, and I can get in here and show you what this bullet did to the gel. So I'm going to start with this side, and you can just see this wound cavity that created that the bullet created as it dug through. And we'll go ahead in there and get the bullet out. Obviously, the denim had no effect on the bullet whatsoever. But let's take a look at this. Look in here. This is the, the entry wound before it started expanding. Obviously expanded very rapidly and very large. I want you to see the, the size of that expansion cavity, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and slice into this. And this this is the permanent damage that bullet did. It's reaching from here all the way to here. Just got that gaping, horrible wound. I mean, each petal in there is an inch, over an inch and a half long, and it goes all the way through. The gel here, you can see that it opens up and it's just, that's because that's where that permanent track is. So this is one of the most damaging bullets that I've ever seen. The permanent damage track that it leaves is simply something to behold. Here I've sliced off the sides to get just to the width of the damage track. You can see on the ruler that it's about two and a half inches wide. And it just stretches from one end clear to the other all the way through there so just terrible terrible permanent damage